Hello, my name is Christian Ramirez, web developer for Web Communications. Today we're going to go over on how to send an email push using MailChimp. Okay, as soon as you log in, you should notice the MailChimp dashboard, basically summarizing all your previous campaigns and such. So where we want to go is under campaigns to see all our previous campaigns and the reports as well if you click under reports. And what I want to do here is I want to replicate a previous one in order to send a new one. So I replicate it. I go under subject line. I edit. I change the date under name your campaign I give, I give it a message sub subject company name a from name let's say if you want to use the the headline the top story that will be pushed on the newsletter headline here <coughs> which is a good practice so we're going to click on next And what we want to do now is we want to import the news there. So once we click on import, the system takes us to enter your plain text message below. The plain text version is for those who can't see HTML on their email clients. So once I copy the text, I click on next, and it should take me back to the to the window wh where I see all my other options. So now I could go ahead and click on pop-up preview to get a preview and to make sure that this is the newsletter I want to send with the newest information. Okay, everything looks great to me. So now we could either send a test to our email inbox, schedule a delivery, let's say you want to push this out on Wednesday instead of um, say it's it's Tuesday it's, let's say it's Friday and you want to send this out on Sunday you could just schedule it for Sunday or we could just click on send now to send the campaign so we sent our campaign and now we have we the only thing left to do is to wait and see how, d how good our campaign does by going under campaigns give it a few minutes you should be able to see a, an, a reports icon under this campaign so you can see your the results if I click on a previous one I'm getting the results from last um, week's um, email push and I see that 74 have opened it 139 were unopened uh, it has a 7.0 percent click-through rate and uh, you could see if anybody complains. Basically, a complaint is if somebody um, marked you as spam, um, or you can also see who vote who has opened the campaign. Those emails that have opened it. If you click on who opened at the top, and you could also see how many times they've opened them. And you could see the person who who marked you as spam you can see if any emails bounced or who unsubscribed we have zero unsubscribes and we go back to our summary report scroll down you can see you have more analytics you can see whether it was open in other countries Okay, and that is basically how you send out an e newsletter push. Um, for breaking news, it's very similar. Um, if I, if I want to send out a breaking news, all I have to do is, is replicate w whichever newsletter. Once again, give it a subject line. Once I give it a subject line, I want to tell it to grab a different template. And in our case, it's the same time in news.com. 
but for your website, let's say it's Sydney Herald, all you have to do is just change Sydney, change it to sydneyherald.com. Leave this the same, and just add breaking underscore news, and you import it, and you go through the same process as you did before, and it, um, it'll grab the new template, which is breaking news template, and it'll push the breaking news out. So it's basically very similar. Um, next we're going to cover next is uh, we're going to get into how to add um, subscribers to your list um, thanks for listening to part one of MailChimp training uh, if you guys have any questions regarding this first portion um, you guys could email me at christian.ramirez at communications. that's christian.ramirez at communications. thank you